Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the Pharaoh's Unfiltered Cigarettes from Mexico, which honestly I am indeed quite excited to try for the first time, as I've heard a lot of good things about this cigarette in specific online. And as such, I'm excited to try it for the first time and to give you guys a review of this cigarette and to find out whether, well, it's actually going to live up to what I've heard online and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But what are my ex expectations for, well, the Pharaoh's Unfiltered Cigarettes from Mexico. While my expectations are pretty simple, I've previously tried the Pharaoh's Filtered Cigarettes from Mexico before, and the taste from those and everything like that kind of thing was very much a sour sweet taste, with the main taste being sour with just a tinge of sweetness in the background and everything like that. And I'm expecting a very similar taste from these cigarettes right here as well, since these are indeed an unfiltered cigarette and quite a short unfiltered cigarette at that. I want to say this pack is smaller than a 72 box, which is insane. I want to say it's smaller than a 72. I measured it, and I I want to say it was like 68 millimeters, which is tiny. I got a plan saw, but I am certainly expecting a very, very, very big body from these, not only because they're so small, you know what I'm saying, but also because while well, they're unfiltered and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? And then roughness wise and everything like that, am I expecting these to be rough and am I, am I expecting these to be smooth? I'm definitely expecting these to be on the rougher side, but I do definitely think they will not be the roughest thing in the world as unfiltered cigarettes do not tend to be the roughest thing in the world. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But I do think without further ado, now that I've gone ahead and told you guys my expectations for, well, the Pharaoh's unfiltered cigarettes, it is now time for me to go ahead and hop into the packaging of well these cigarettes right here after that i'm going to go ahead and get the cellophane all off go ahead and get the pack of cigarettes all opened up go ahead and get one of the cigarettes out let you guys know how the cigarettes look how they feel what the quality of them is like you know what i'm saying and then after that i'm going to go ahead and get one of the pharaoh's unfiltered cigarettes from mexico all lit up and go ahead and let you guys know what i actually think of these cigarettes right here but first off as said i gotta go ahead and take a look at the packaging which i will admit i am a pretty big fan of i was a pretty big fan of the packaging for the Pharaoh's uh, filtered cigarettes from Mexico as well kind of thing. And this is pretty much just the exact same packaging, just smaller because the normal Pharaoh's filtered cigarettes were the same size as a normal cigarette pack and everything like that kind of thing. I want to say they were king size, so I want to say they were 72 millimeter? No, 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 not 72 millimeter. I want to say they were like 90 millimeter or something like that kind of thing. So definitely like a lot bigger than this. Definitely a lot bigger than this. Let me put it that way. I actually don't know the exact millimeters. Basically what I'm trying to say is that they were just the same size as a normal pack of cigarettes, you know what I'm saying? But basically this packaging right here is just that, but smaller. That's, that's pretty much what it is, you know what I'm saying? Going around the edges of the center of the packaging right here, though, we can see just a very, very nice checkered border going all the way around here, you know what I'm saying? It goes from beige to red, to, from beige to red, from beige to red in a checkered pattern, which looks very, very nice, you know what I'm saying? On the filtered version of these right here, this was, this was a much bigger border and everything like that. As the packaging was much bigger, it makes sense. But I want to say the actual inside of the packaging right here is actually about the same size, you know what I'm saying? I want to say, yeah, yeah, I want to say that this border right here is just smaller, and that's really the only main difference I get to play on, so I'm pretty sure this is actually about the same size, you know what I'm saying? But we can see there's just a black line right there and a black line right there separating this sort of checkerboard pattern from the side of the packaging and everything like that kind of thing. And then we can also see that Oh, I was about to say there's a black line right there as well. I thought there was a black line in the middle, but I miss, I miss, I miss saw stuff and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf either way. You know what I'm saying? But overall, I really do like this checkerboard pattern going all the way around the edges. And I definitely do think it makes the packaging look decently distinct. Although I will admit not as distinct as the filtered Pharaoh's cigarettes. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? Those were definitely at least somewhat distinct from a distance. And don't get me wrong. These are still somewhat distinct from a distance as well, but definitely not as distinct in my personal opinion. But I really, really, really do like how this packaging looks. It's a super nice nice retro style pack and everything like that kind of thing and while it might not be I'm trying to think of the right word. While it might not be iconic to me kind of thing, I have heard that Pharaohs are super, super, super iconic in Mexico, and they've just kept the same packaging on the pack of cigarettes since like the 1960s, so I can totally see why this pack of cigarettes right here would just be super iconic, you know what I'm saying? But moving on from the checkerboard pattern going all the way around the edges and everything like that, inside the checkerboard pattern, we can see there's just a rope going all the way around right here kind of thing, just goes from sort of that beige, as said, and then just to black and everything like that, just making it look like a rope and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? looking very very good two knots like right here a knot right there and like a knot right there and i assume these are like boating knots or something like that i really have no clue but i'm pretty sure that pharaohs means lighthouse or something like that i'm not really exactly sure what pharaohs means because when i google translated pharaohs it just came up as headlights and i was like there's no way pharaohs means headlights there's like lighthouses all over this and everything like that kind of thing there's no way it means headlights i'm pretty sure pharaohs means lighthouse but i really do have no clue in all honesty kind of thing i really do have no clue but we can just see the pharaoh 
Bros logo right here, front and center kind of thing, looking really, really good, you know what I'm saying? It's just a nice red text with a black border going all the way around it, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And we can see that it is pretty much above the horizon line right there. On the horizon line, we could just see some ocean right there with another with a lighthouse right there, another lighthouse on this side with the nice uh, red and black checkerboard pattern and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints for me. A boat right here, a boat right there, a boat right there, you know what I'm saying? With the guy tipping his hat, m'lady kind of thing, and he's just smoking himself a little bit of a ciggy. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I bet he's smoking a Pharaoh's ciggy on the Pharaoh's packaging and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? That is pretty cool. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying? But under there, or under the ocean and everything like that, which is a very, very nice, cool sort of sky blue and everything like that. We could just see it just says Tabacalera Mexicana, which of course just means Mexican tobacco because, well, Pharaoh's is indeed a Mexico-only cigarette brand, you know what I'm saying? And then under that, we could just see it pretty much just goes to black right there, you know what I'm saying? And we could just see it just says uh, contains 18 cigarettes sin filtro. So if this uh, contained, uh, or if these were filtered cigarettes, it would just say uh, contains 18 cigarettes uh, con filtro. But since this are, these are unfiltered cigarettes, and the reason you know that these are unfiltered is, well, because of the size and everything like that, but also because, well, it just says sin filter right there, and that just means without filter or no filter and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? You're saying certainly no complaints for me, and the text right here is just that very, very nice sort of beige, uh, sort of like checkerboard pattern color and everything like that kind of thing with a black border going all the way around it. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure, and that's pretty much all there is to the packaging for the actual design on the front and everything like that. I overall think it's a pretty good look. I think it's a pretty good retro look and everything like that. It might not be the most distinct thing from a distance, but it certainly is a lot more pat it certainly is a lot more interesting than a lot of other packaging that I've ever seen and so certainly no complaints on my behalf I am a pretty big fan of the Pharaoh's packaging you know what I'm saying I'm saying and I definitely do think while it might not be per se super iconic to me I definitely do think from what I've heard at least I don't want to speak for anybody or anything like that kind of thing but from what I've heard at least this is super iconic in Mexico you know what I'm saying I'm saying and one thing I forgot to mention as with the filtered back as well I forgot to mention this on the filtered back until I noticed it and everything like that kind of thing is that the blue down here the sky right here is made up of the beige being the overall background color and then it's just got blue dots going all over it you know what I'm saying all over it I don't know if you guys can see that on camera and everything like that but that certainly is very very cool nonetheless but that's pretty much all there is to the packaging as said I think it's a pretty good look you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much all there is to the actual main design on the packaging. I still got plenty to talk about and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much all there is to the main design on the packaging. And overall, I think it's pretty decent retro style look and everything like that kind of thing. As I said, not the most iconic thing from a distance, but still a pretty good look nonetheless. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But we can see there is a warning label right here. As 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 said previously, uh, Mexico requires that 30% of the front of the packaging has to have a warning label on it. 100% of one, one side and 100% of the back has to have a warning label on it and everything like that. So this is the 30% of the front that has to have the warning label on it and everything like that kind of thing. And we can see it takes up 30% of the packaging, which... Is not a very significant amount on this pack because the pack is very small, you know what I'm saying? And it just says, Fumar causa a cancer de pulmon, which of course just means uh, smoking causes cancer of the lung. And we can just see there's a guy on his uh, stomach and he's just got a nice big ass hole in his back. Doesn't look very enjoyable, but that's not going to stop me from smoking cigarettes, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Moving on to the side of the packaging right here, we can just see it just says Paraventa Exclusiva and Mexico, and the entire side of the packaging right there is just that sort of like nice beige color and everything like that, with the text on this side of the packaging being all in black. And as I said, it just says Paraventa Exclusiva and Mexico, which of course just means for exclusive sale in Mexico. And then we could just see under that that this is, of course, made by Philip Morris, uh, which they're located in Lago Zurich, uh, 245 Fidio Presa Falcon Piso 3 uh, Amplification. Granada, Miguel Hidalgo, uh, 11529, Cuidad de Mexico, fabrication authorized by uh, Philip Morris, Mexico, South America, DCV. I'm not exactly sure what CV stands for, but I know SA stands for South America. I don't know what CV stands for, though. And then we can just see under all that right there, we have the barcode right here, and then the amount of tar in the cigarette, the amount of carbon monoxide in the cigarette, and the amount of nicotine in the cigarette. Now, this was probably the most surprising thing for me when I was taking a look at the packaging and everything like that, because there is only 7 milligrams of tar. There is only 0 0.4 milligrams of nicotine. There is only 7 milligrams of carbon monoxide which is very surprising because this essentially has the same amount of nicotine in it as the Marlboro Cretic mints that I bought, which are very much light cigarettes. So this is an unfiltered cigarette that is pretty much a light because the Pharaoh's filtered cigarettes actually had more nicotine in them than this cigarette right here. I'm sure it could be attributed to the size, but it just is very odd to see because Unfiltered cigarettes in the United States tend to be some of the heaviest cigarettes, some of the most nicotine-potent cigarettes you can buy kind of thing. 
And that is that not, not at all true with these cigarettes right here kind of thing. That is not at all true with these cigarettes right here. So it certainly is very, very, very interesting to see the difference in everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. But overall, just very, very surprising. I don't know if I'm going to get a buzz from these or anything like that kind of thing. It's 0 0.4 milligrams of nicotine. I haven't had a cigarette in about an hour probably. But I might get a buzz. I might not. But these are essentially a light, unfiltered cigarette, which is insane. I get a plan. It's absolutely insane. Really, really, really just crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I do think without further ado, though, now that I've covered this side of the packaging and everything like that, it is now time for me to go ahead and cover the top of the packaging. And we can see, of course, this is a soft pack of cigarettes, obviously, kind of thing. So we could just see the top of the packaging. It's all silver and everything like that. And then we could just see in the center, it just says Tobacco's Seleccionos uh, right there. And then it's just got a tobacco leaf on this side and this side. And there's just an oval in the center with a square going or a rectangle going all the way over there. And it just says on both sides, it just says Cello de Garantia, which I'm assuming just means seller's guarantee that it's selectioned tobacco or a, a great tobacco selection. I really have no clue. I really have no clue. Either way, nice look, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much just typical and everything like that kind of thing. It's pretty typical of, um, what was I about to say? Pretty typical of uh, unfiltered cigarettes to have the tab and everything like that kind of thing going over the top. So makes sense. They got the tab as well kind of thing. Taking a look at the bottom of this pack of cigarettes right here, we could see some of the information that would have usually been on the side of the packaging right here is actually on the bottom because while well, the side of the packaging is so small, we could just see that it just says Hencho and Mexico, Marca Registrada. Of course, these are, of course, made in Mexico, as Philip Morris makes all of their cigarettes that they sell in Mexico in Mexico, you know what I'm saying? And then it just says Venta Prohibita a Menores, which, of course, just means uh, prohibited sale. Uh, you, uh, you, it just means um, sale prohibited, prohibited to minors. And then we could just see there's a little don't litter symbol right there and everything like that kind of thing. And then there's just a phone number you can call, which is 800-627-5267. And then there's the cigarette numbers on the bottom of the packaging as well, which is just 0541-SPPYG-Y5-G-G. Z A L T colon uh, M D F seven one three O O one nine. Uh, so those are the cigarette numbers on the bottom of the packaging. If you guys wanted to know or anything like that kind of thing, I have no clue what the cigarette numbers mean in Mexico and everything like that, but I'm sure they mean something nonetheless. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of a sip of water real quick and go ahead and continue with the packaging. You know what I'm saying? So. Pretty much the rest of the packaging we just have to cover and everything like that is just the warning labels. I've already covered the one on the front, so let's just go ahead and cover the one on the side right here. The warning label on the side just says, Fumar Puede Agravar El Dano Por COVID-19, and it's very much looking like there's not enough room for that warning label. I get a play on so very, very funny, that is for sure. But of course, that just means that smoking can ag aggravate COVID-19. And then we could just see on the back, it just says, Caveat, Secretary of Health. It just says, El Consumo, uh, consumo de Tobacco Aumenta Hasta en Vientos Vices El Risigo de Dasarlo. Cancer de Pomon, which I'm assuming just means uh, consuming tobacco uh, a lot, means you're going to get cancer of the lung. I'm pretty sure that's what it's saying, you know what I'm saying? And then we could just see under that, it just has a little bit of a black box right there with yellow text and everything like that, unlike the black text that is on the yellow background and everything like that. And we could just see it just says, Respons uh, contains Alcatran, which of course is just tar, and it just says responsible for, uh, respons responsible de la mera. Uh, de las canceras uh, producidos el, uh, por el consumo de tobacco, which of course just means uh, responsible for the majority of cancers produced by tobacco. And then we could just see under that, it just says, Si queres desa g dejar de fumar lama el uh, 800-911-2000, right there, you know what I'm saying? So that just says right there, it just is like, hey, if you want to quit smoking, call this number. So that's their quit smoking number for Mexico. So if any of you guys feel they need to quit smoking or anything like that kind of thing, call up Mexico's no uh, quit smoking line or anything like that. Although don't blame me for any international calling fees or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much all there is to the packaging. What are my overall thoughts on the packaging? I think the front of the packaging is a really, really good look kind of thing. It basically is just a very nice retro style pack on a soft pack, which of course just makes it look even more retro, which I really do like, you know what I'm saying? Of course, the warning labels and everything like that definitely do make it look a bit more modern, but honestly, they really don't they really don't hurt it too much kind of thing. It's still a very nice retro style packaging and everything like that kind of thing. And overall, I am quite excited to try these cigarettes. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? As I said, I like the packaging and overall, I'm excited to try these cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? I do think without further ado though, it is now time for me to go ahead and get this pack of cigarettes all opened up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get the cellophane all off. So there we go. Got the cellophane all off. I'm just going to go ahead and put this down on the ground and go ahead and shove all of this in my pocket and go ahead and take my lighter out of my pocket as well. So I'm not shoving all the plastic on top of my pot lighter. So when I'm trying to get my lighter out later on in the video, I've just got all the plastic falling out of my pocket and everything like that. And now let's go ahead and get this all open up just like that. You know what I'm saying? So let's just go ahead and just peel all that off. Oh, I got to do the other side as well. So let's just go ahead and do that as well. You know what I'm saying? So there we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Cool, cool, cool. And yep, these are definitely unfiltered cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? 
They smell a lot like the uh, they smell a lot like the filtered uh, like the filtered pharaohs if I remember correctly. So let's just go ahead. There we go. Got one out. And wow, that's interesting. Okay, uh, all of these seem to be ovals. That is very interesting. I have not smoked an oval cigarette since I tried the Nat Sherman Havana ovals. And this is an oval. That is very cool. That is very interesting. I have not tried an oval cigarette since I last tried the Nat Sherman Havana ovals. And this is an oval unfiltered cigarette. And I mean, like, honestly, that's what I, what I heard was that originally cigarettes that were unfiltered were kind of just designed to be ovals. It's just easier to hold and everything like that kind of thing. But when filters came out and everything like that, they started making them round and everything like that. So this really is very, very, very retro style. You know what I'm saying? This really is very, very, very retro style. No complaints on my behalf. But let's go ahead and take a look. But let's go ahead and take a look at what the actual cigarette looks like and everything like that. It's very simple, just white paper, and it just says Pharaohs right there with a very, very in a very, very nice blue font. You know what I'm saying? Does the blue match the blue on the packaging? No, not at all. It doesn't. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't. But either way, no complaints on my behalf. It was one of the same complaints that I had with the Pharaohs filtered cigarettes. They had this in blue and everything like that kind of thing. And I was like, why is it in blue? Why isn't it in red or something like that kind of thing matching the packaging of the Pharaohs? But it certainly is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Nothing I can do about that. And it just says, as I said, Pharaohs right there. We're looking very, very nice. You know what I'm saying? In a very, very nice fancy font with an arrow just pointing this way right there. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And that's pretty much what the cigarette looks like. You know what I'm saying? There's really not much more to say. There's no filter to talk about the perforation with or anything like that kind of thing. There's no other designs. That really is it. I think the most interesting thing about this cigarette right off the bat kind of thing really is that it's an oval. I've never smoked a cigarette that was an oval except for the Nat Sherman Havana oval. So I am very, very, very excited to try this cigarette for the first time and to let you guys know how it actually is and to see whether smoking an oval cigarette really is better than smoking an unfiltered cigarette that's actually a round unfiltered cigarette and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Overall though, what does this cigarette smell like and everything like that? And what does the blend of the tobacco look like? The blend of the tobacco seems to be very much a medium to dark blend. I definitely have to say, you know what I'm saying? And smelling it right off the bat. Yeah, it smells a lot like the uh, Pharaoh's filtered cigarettes. So I'm pretty much just expecting the exact same taste kind of thing. I'm expecting very much a sort of sour, sour, sour taste with a tinge of sweetness in there and everything like that, but very, very little sweetness, that is for sure. And that's pretty much still the taste I'm expecting kind of thing. That's what I expected at the beginning because that's what I got from the Pharaoh's filtered cigarettes. And I'm definitely expecting the same from, well, the unfiltered cigarettes and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But I do think without further ado, I think I've said everything I want to say about the actual cigarette itself. There's really not much to talk about besides the fact that this is an oval kind of thing, which is pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? And all of the cigarettes in the pack kind of thing seem to be somewhat oval-like, which is pretty cool if I do say so myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, yeah, they all seem to be ovals. That is pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? That is pretty cool. But there's really not much else to say since I've covered the packaging and since I've pretty much covered how the cigarette looks like. It's pretty good quality overall and everything like that. I feel like there should really be more stuff to say and everything like that. I'm so used to talking about the perforation, about the design on the filter and everything like that but with this cigarette there really is just nothing to say besides it's an oval there's a design on it kind of thing and it smells exactly like the pharaoh's filtered cigarettes that i've tried before you know what i'm saying i'm saying i do think without further ado though let's go ahead and get this lit up yes sir yes sir you know what i'm saying i'm saying and let's go ahead and see how the pharaoh's unfiltered cigarettes from mexico actually are yes sir yes sir you know what i'm saying i'm saying let's go ahead and get this lit up Ooh, right off the bat, no tobacco in my mouth. No complaints on my behalf about that. <sighs> right off the bat, these are pretty decently smooth, but there is also a tinge of roughness in there as well kind of thing. You can definitely tell this is very much a short cigarette. The air is, this air, the smoke is very hot, giving you a nice little bit of roughness in the back of your throat. But honestly, they are surprisingly smooth for how short they are and for them being an unfiltered cigarette and everything like that. They actually really are surprisingly smooth. You know what I'm saying? The body off these is pretty big, you know what I'm saying? No surprise there, you know what I'm saying? No surprise there. There's really not a lot of area for the smoke to go. And well, it's an unfiltered cigarette, so it definitely does make sense why the body would be so big, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And this is burning very, very well as an oval. No complaints on my behalf. And honestly, ergonomically for my mouth, this is super convenient. This is so nice, you know what I'm saying? I've forgotten how nice it is to smoke an oval cigarette, you know what I'm saying? It has been a minute since I last smoked some of the some of the Nat Sherman Havana ovals and everything like that kind of thing. So I really have forgotten how nice it is to smoke an oval cigarette because honestly, this is just so ergonomic for my mouth, which is a little bit odd to say, but it really is in all honesty kind of thing. It really is in all honesty. The taste of these though, right off the bat. 
I definitely have to say taste wise, it's pretty much exactly what I was expecting kind of thing. It's pretty much exactly what I was expecting. It is a mostly sour taste, but that's mostly sour taste kind of thing. But there is a tinge of sweetness in the back as well kind of thing. There is a tinge of sweetness in the back as well. This is definitely not a sweet and sour cigarette. This is definitely a sour and sweet cigarette with it being a probably, I'd say about 70, 80% sour with just a tw tinge of sweetness and there being like 10, 20% kind of thing of sweetness in there kind of thing. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. There certainly is a little bit of bitterness as well from the roughness of the cigarette and everything like that. But overall, certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. Uh, one of my main complaints with the Pharaoh's un with the Pharaoh's filtered cigarettes, if I remember correctly, was that there was a tinge of I want to say there was a tinge of sort of a chemically taste or something like that kind of thing. And smoking these, I'm not getting any of that kind of thing. I may be getting like a slight metally taste in the back of my throat or something like that kind of thing. But overall, I'm not really getting any sort of chemically taste or anything like that kind of thing, which I, if I remember correctly, was a complaint of mine with the Pharaoh's filtered cigarettes. But overall, no major sort of chemically taste or anything like that kind of thing. No sort of bad quality paper taste, that is for sure, as is common with the Philip Morris uh, cigarettes that I've tried so far in Mexico and everything like that kind of thing, besides flavored cigarettes. Overall, though, this is a pretty good cigarette that I really am enjoying, you know what I'm saying? And I think I'm going to enjoy smoking the rest of this pack, and I will admit, it also certainly is getting me a little bit buzzed as well, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. <sighs> yeah. No complaints on my behalf. And knock on, knock on my plastic chair, I have yet to get any tobacco in my mouth. That's pretty nice, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty nice. No complaints on my behalf. <sighs> yeah, no, no surprise. I got some tobacco in my mouth on that last one, you know what I'm saying? It flicked off my, my lip and just went into the air and everything like that kind of thing. But... Yeah, no surprise there kind of thing. No surprise there. Gonna get some tobacco in my mouth and everything like that. We can see the next couple hits I'm gonna be taking. I'm gonna be getting some tobacco in my mouth for sure, as we expected from an unfiltered cigarette. That is just how they are, you know what I'm saying? Overall though, I am actually getting somewhat buzzed, you know what I'm saying? Let's go and test the body one more time. Ah. I don't like tobacco in my mouth. It's my main complaints with unfiltered cigarettes. I don't like tobacco in my mouth. That is my main complaint with unfiltered cigarettes, and I'm definitely getting a decent amount of tobacco in my mouth with this one, that is for sure, and I'm saying, I'm saying. But overall, though, body is still pretty big at the end of it, as we expected. It's, unfiltered, it's an unfiltered cigarette kind of thing. Of course, the body is still going to be big. And overall, it definitely does get quite a bit more rough towards the end as well, as to be expected from an unfiltered cigarette. Unfiltered cigarettes do typically get very rough towards the end, and this one's certainly no different. It's an unfiltered cigarette. You're getting just that super hot smoke with no sort of anything in between, like a filter or anything like that kind of thing, so that really is to be expected. Overall, though, yeah, this cigarette's pretty good kind of thing. This cigarette's pretty good. Would I buy another pack again? Um, probably not. Unfiltered cigarettes aren't really my thing kind of thing. I need to buy some tar guards for some unfiltered cigarettes because I really do prefer smoking unfiltered cigarettes with a tar guard just simply because I hate getting tobacco in my mouth that much. But I did definitely get less tobacco in my mouth from this cigarette right here than most unfiltered cigarettes kind of thing. I wouldn't, and I would definitely attribute that to probably the oval shape and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. I do think without further ado though, there are about one or two more hits left until it hits my finger. So I do think without further ado, I'm just gonna go and ash it one more time and go ahead and take those last one or two hits and go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on, well, the Pharaoh's unfiltered cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to risk burning my fingers or anything like that kind of thing. And the best thing about unfiltered cigarettes, I don't like littering cigarette butts or nothing like that, but unfiltered cigarettes ain't got no cigarette butts. You know what I'm saying? Unfiltered cigarettes ain't got no cigarette butts. So I ain't got to worry about that. Everything in it is biodegradable. The tobacco is biodegradable. The paper is biodegradable. So I ain't got no problems with just leaving it on the ground. I do suppose I'm, I am incriminating myself right now and everything like that kind of thing. I am still littering tobacco and paper, but it is biodegradable. So I don't really feel bad about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, but what are my final thoughts on, well, the Pharaoh's unfiltered cigarettes. What are my final thoughts on this pack of cigarettes right here? Overall, I think they're pretty solid. You know what I'm saying? The packaging is definitely pretty solid as well. You know what I'm saying? This is a 68 millimeter, 69 millimeter cigarette or something like that kind of thing, which is insanely small kind of thing, smaller than the Marlboro 72s, which is already pretty small. I get a blend. So this is probably the smallest cigarette I have ever smoked. I get a blend. So 
but overall certainly no complaints on my behalf either way the packaging is pretty good you know what i'm saying i like how i how iconic and how retro it is and everything like that and there's lots of very cool details like the shine on the water and everything like that that i just completely missed talking about when i was going over the packaging and everything like that there really are just a lot of cool details on this packaging and overall i think it's a very 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 nice look you know what i'm saying and the bottom of the packaging is pretty good it tells you all the useful information and everything like that sadly the logo and everything like that on the front of the packaging doesn't wrap around to this side or anything like that but it certainly is what it is that is for sure the cigarettes themselves look to be oh, if i can actually get one out there we go the cigarettes themselves are a pretty basic looking you know i'm saying it just says pharaohs right there but they're pretty good quality overall and they are an oval as said you know what i'm saying and overall they smell a lot like very much just sour tobacco and everything like that kind of thing to be expected they are very much a sour a more sour cigarette but with a very nice tinge of sweetness in there as well kind of thing and overall the actual smoking experience of the pharaohs unfiltered cigarettes was pretty solid i really 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 did enjoy smoking these cigarettes right here kind of thing and it was as said very much a sour sweet taste kind of thing being about probably 70 80 percent sour 20 30 percent sweet and everything like that kind of thing overall pretty big body decently rough kind of thing especially towards the end as to be expected from an unfiltered cigarette but overall though these are very 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 unique cigarettes let me just put it that way kind of thing you definitely wouldn't find in my personal opinion at least an unfiltered cigarette that tasted like this one in the united states and looked like this one in the united states so for, from, an, from, from a perspective of somebody who is from the United States, who has mostly smoked cigarettes from the United States, these are pretty unique, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf, and I can definitely see why people online do indeed like these cigarettes. These are a pretty unique kind of thing, and definitely a nice change from unfiltered cigarettes in the United States, which tend to be on the sweeter side and everything like that kind of thing. Overall, though, yeah, these are pretty good kind of thing. Not exactly my to my not exactly to my preference. I don't know if I would buy them again kind of thing, just simply because unfiltered cigarettes are not to my preference. But if I had a tar guard, I would most certainly buy these again kind of thing. Because if I'm not getting any tobacco in my mouth, I really have no complaints on my behalf. You know what I'm saying? And overall, yeah. I still had some tobacco in my mouth. I cannot believe me, you know what I'm saying? I cannot believe me. But I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and give these cigarettes right here, the Pharaoh's Unfiltered Cigarettes from Mexico, a rating and go ahead and let you guys know what I actually think of, well, these cigarettes right here, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. First off though, I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip of water. As said though, these cigarettes are pretty solid kind of thing. Very, not really a lot of like super interesting details on the cigarettes themselves or anything like that kind of thing. And the taste overall was pretty much exactly what I was expecting. As I said, just very much that sour, sweet taste, pretty big body and decently rough and everything like that kind of thing. But overall, it did get me buzzed. I was wondering if it was going to get me buzzed kind of thing because these only have 0 0.4 milligrams nicotine in them, which is less than the Pharaoh's filtered cigarettes. But they did get me pretty buzzed nonetheless. You know what I'm saying? So certainly no complaints on my behalf. I think that's probably an attribute that I've all, I'm pretty sure that's pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm getting my words all jumbled up. I'm pretty sure that's an attribute of me only having one cigarette today and that one cigarette was about an hour ago which definitely does make sense you know what i'm saying you're saying why i would get buzzed but now that i've gone ahead and covered everything i think i want to say about this cigarette i think it's time for me to go ahead and give this cigarette a rating you know what i'm saying the packaging is pretty iconic you know what i'm saying i really do like the retro style packaging with the soft pack and everything like that kind of thing it might not be the most distinct thing from a distance but it's certainly not a bad look overall overall the cigarettes look pretty cool you know what i'm saying the oval certainly is going to be giving it some points because that's just super unique and everything like that kind of thing the actual design on the cigarette itself not super unique or anything like that just the sadly not color-coded pharaoh's logo and everything like that and the overall smoking experience was not really exact to my preference i'm not really the biggest fan of unfiltered cigarettes nor am i really the biggest fan of um, sour cigarettes and everything like that kind of thing. But overall though, eh, not a bad cigarette at all kind of thing. And definitely something, if I had some tar guards, I would buy this again. But if I went back to Mexico and I didn't have any tar guards, I probably wouldn't buy this again. And I'd just be satisfied with having tried these once, you know what I'm saying? But I do think without further ado, what is the rating I'm thinking for? Well, the Pharaoh's Unfiltered Cigarettes from Mexico. Well, the rating I'm thinking is probably going to be, these are pretty unique, you know what I'm saying? For how small they are, for, their, that, for the fact that they're an oval and everything like that kind of thing. These are really unique. And I really think these deserve a pretty good rating in all honesty kind of thing they're not a bad cigarette at all very little if any chemical taste in there or anything like that kind of thing which is something that cannot be said is if i remember correctly about the Ferrer's filtered cigarettes so as said as, as such i think there's going to be getting a solid i think a 7.5 out of 10 kind of thing i'm tempted to give these an 8 out of 10 but they're just not enough to my preference kind of thing i don't think i would really want to buy buy these again kind of thing it would have to be in a certain situation if i wanted to buy these again that is for sure so as such I think I'm gonna be giving these a 7.5 out of 10. I definitely do like the packaging quite a bit, but the fact that these are unfiltered cigarettes definitely just makes it where I'm just kind of like, ah, 
I don't really like getting tobacco in my mouth and everything like that kind of thing. Just not really to my preference, but certainly not a bad cigarette at all. That is for sure. And as said, a solid, solid, solid 7.5 out of 10 is definitely very deserving in my personal opinion for the Pharaohs unfiltered cigarettes. Although I will admit, I do definitely think an 8 out of 10 would definitely be deserving as well, but I'm going to stick to my 7.5 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, but I do think without further ado, now that I've pretty much said everything I think I want to say about the Pharaoh's unfiltered cigarettes from Mexico, it is now time for me to go ahead and end the video right here. Let me know in the comments down below. Have you guys tried these cigarettes before? Have you guys not tried these cigarettes before? If you guys haven't tried these cigarettes before, what are your guys' thoughts on these cigarettes just based on the video and everything like that? And if you guys have tried these cigarettes before, what are your guys' thoughts on the cigarettes not based on the video and everything like that? You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, but if you guys enjoyed watching my review of the Pharaoh's unfiltered cigarettes from Mexico, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, y'all. Until the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, and I'm saying, I'm saying.